Oh hey, I didn't see you come in there. Welcome back to another video. So here we go, finally, my Game Boy Advance collection. <laughs> I've had a couple people request me to do this video. I thought, all right, why not? I haven't done one in a long time, so um, here's another collection video. So I'm gonna have um, all my Game Boy Advance consoles, box games, and it's mostly gonna be loose cartridges. I got a shit ton right here. So let's go through them. Here's what I play them on currently. Well, I'm thinking about getting rid of these. I got two Game Boy Advances right here. I've had them for many years. Uh, SPs. That's the only ones I play on. Um, the batteries are shot on these guys. Like They don't last long at all. I was using them as controllers for the Game Boy player. But now the batteries are shot on them, so I'm thinking about maybe, well, I can either buy new batteries for them or just uh, use them as trade value at a gaming store. Maybe they'll take one. I know game stores like to replace batteries on cartridges and stuff like that. Maybe I'll just get rid of these. Because um, I mostly play on my Game Boy Player. Or I got this. I got the Nintendo DS Lite. And it was the last iteration that uh, brought out the Game Boy Advance slash Game Boy slot on the bottom there. So I still have it for that reason. I've had this for a long ass time. So yeah, if I was to play these in portable, I would play it on here. But for the most part, I still do like to play these games on the uh, GameCube Game Boy Player. So let's get into the games. I'll start off with the box games. Here's a copy of Drill Dozer. These are all complete in box. I don't think I'm going to get into the unboxing of it all, but this one has a uh, rumble feature. Drill Dozer is known for having a rumble built in there. So, yeah, kind of awkward playing it on a Game Boy player. It's going to rumble your GameCube around, but you can turn the rumble feature off if you want. And I believe this was made by Game Freak. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it is. That's why I've always been saying I wish Game Freak would do something else other than Pokemon, because they can sometimes make some pretty cool games. But I still have this one in box. It's in okay condition still. Uh, and then the rest of my box games I only have are some Final Fantasy games. This is Final Fantasy 1 and 2. What do they call it? Dawn of Souls. So it's a remake of the first two games. Um, Final Fantasy 5. Played a shit ton of this one. That one's complete in box. And Final Fantasy 6. And yes, I'm still missing Final Fantasy IV. But on the lookout for it, I rarely ever fucking see it. But I'm sure now that the pixel remasters are floating around, I'm sure I'll see it eventually. Okay, so for the loose cartridges, we got a couple garbage one first that, I, that didn't cost me much, cost me a couple bucks. GT Advanced Championship Racing. I don't even remember it. It's THQ. Razor Freestyle Scooter. Look at this. It, in order for me to sit here and wait for this fucking shit to focus, if it ever does, I guess you gotta do this maybe or something. I don't fucking know, but I'm just gonna just flash them real quick. I can't get it to focus all the way on them. Capcom Classics. Um... This is a weird one. It's like three games built in. Um, what is it? Final? No, it, or it's maybe two games. I know it's Final. It's Final Fight. Um, oh my fucking god! Let me just boot it up real quick. If there's any power in this fucking thing. Here we go. It's going. All right, let's bust out these. This is not a good way to carry these games instead of a baseball card binder. <laughs> I pretty much do this and then... 
All the games will fall out. That's funny. Yeah, not a good way to stash those. I might as well just throw them in a bag. So this is a Capcom Classics Mini Mix. What's in this? Strider for NES. Mighty Final Fight, that's what it was called. And Biotic Commando. So yeah, I pretty much got this just for Mighty Final Fights. Um, yeah, not bad. Three NES games in one. That's better than uh, what Nintendo was offering, where you only get one NES game. That's it. I think they came up with like Castlevania, Metroid, and a few others. So that's not bad. You at least get three NES games on that one. All right, and not in any particular order. Um, I gotta start off with a bootleg. <laughs> the fucking sticker fell off of it on this fucking bootleg. But this is Double Dragon Advance, which I think is one of the rare, one of the more rare Game Boy Advance titles. Yeah, I like picked this up for like 10 bucks or something way back. Double Dragon Advance. It's pretty good. It's based on the arcade, but they expand upon it, or it's almost practically a whole new game, I think. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, here's Castlevania Circle of the Moon. That's the only Castlevania game I have on Game Boy Advance. Um, the other two I had to emulate to do live streaming on, but... Um, I kind of like this one the best out of the three. Um, Wario Land 4, which I played a little bit of. I haven't played all the way through it yet, but it it's okay. I wish it was a little more straightforward. I don't like how you have to like collect an item then race back to the finish. It's kind of weird. A little bit gimmicky, but um, it's not a bad game. Here is... What is this? Look at this. It's like Crash Wrath of Vortex. Is that what it's called? Holy fuck, my eyesight's not as good as it used to be. Can't even like read these Game Boy Advance titles anymore. <laughs> but here's Crash Bandicoot for fucking Game Boy Advance. You know you're getting old when you can no longer read your Game Boy Advance titles. Um, Super Monkey Ball Jr. I don't even really recall this game at all. I don't think I played much of this one. Road Rash Jailbreak, I don't believe this is any good. Probably picked this up for a couple bucks. WarioWare Inc. I'm not sure if this is the only WarioWare game. Um, it's okay, it's actually pretty challenging <laughs> compared to the newer ones I find. Uh, Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. Um, yeah, I live streamed this one not too long ago. It's pretty good. Average Kirby game. Uh, I'll get to the Mario games in a bit. Here's Mario Kart Sur uh, Super Circuit. Yeah, this is known as the most difficult Mario Kart game. And I think it's the hardest one to 100% as well. This one is more based... This one's more like the original Mario Kart game. But yeah, it's pretty fucking hard. I think it's got the rubber banding and everything in it. It's It's tough. Uh, Final Fight 1, really good. It's one of the best Final Fight games ever put out, definitely. Really good. Uh, Gunstar Heroes. Is this... It just says Gunstar Heroes. I don't know if there's a subtitle to it. I think I've played some of this. <laughs> it's another one I should get back into. I don't know, I haven't really learned it all too well. I think I've played a bit of it. It's alright. I don't think I like it as much as the original Gunstar Heroes, but... I I believe this is like the sequel or something. I don't think it's the actual port of the game. Uh, World Poker Tour. I got this. I think I was on my live stream. We were just talking about the the crate, the, the the poker craze when Texas Hold'em became really mainstream, and everyone was playing poker at the time. And yeah, I picked. I actually picked this game up when it was new. I used to have like the box and everything for it, but. <laughs> it's actually a pretty fun poker game, actually. I had buddies of mine that were playing this as well. And it's actually pretty addicting. Disney's Aladdin. I think I picked this one up maybe last year or something. I paid like a decent amount for it. It's just the, the port of the Super Nintendo game. 
Um, and yeah, I'm a big fan of the Capcom Aladdin, the Super Nintendo port. And yeah, this is actually real. They actually did bring out Aladdin on the Game Boy Advance. Um, Splinter Cell is one that I haven't played in a long time that I, I did enjoy when I played through it. Um, it's a 2D, like a 2D side-scrolling stealth game and shit. It's, it's pretty good, actually. I've been kind of wanting to play this one again. Uh, the Revenge of Shinobi. I've been playing, I played this one a little bit a long time ago. And yeah, it was okay. I don't know. It wasn't too great. Um, I don't know. I kind of like the Sega Genesis games better, but I don't know. I think it's an okay Shinobi game. Simpsons Road Rage. So this one's, uh, so Road Rage is like uh, Crazy Taxi. I believe this game is like, and it's not bad. I think there's like unlockables you can get in this that'll keep you busy. Not a bad little port of the game. It's actually its own like sort of I haven't actually compared Simpsons Road Brain on, on GBA to other games on the console. Like, I haven't compared it to, like, PlayStation 2 or whatever, but, um, it's decent from what I know, from what I played. Uh, what else we got? Oh, Gremlins. Stripe versus... I guess whoever the fuck the other gremlin is, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of funny, you play as... Yeah, weird. You play as Gizmo. Maybe it says Stripe versus Gizmo. I don't know what that says. The, the label's sort of peeled off as well. Um, it's okay. It's not bad. I've watched reviews on it, and people say it's, okay. it's an okay game. That's all I can really say about it. Uh, da, 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 da. Tekken Advance. I don't think I've really played much of this. Te te yep, Tekken Advance. They made an advance for everything. Here's Kirby and the Amazing Mirrors. Yeah, I've said I haven't really. I didn't really enjoy this game when I played it. They tried to make it. They tried to make Kirby into a Metroidvania, and I think that was just a stupid idea. <laughs> Uh, but I didn't give it a full chance with it. It was during the Metroidvania craze of the Castlevania games, the Metroid games. So there we go. Kirby had to get on in the, in the Metroidvania action. Um, Animusha Tactics. Very basic tactics game. I got kind of bored with it. And it was just like, it's just like the most basic cap uh, tactics game I ever played. It's kind of boring, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know what it goes for nowadays. But a game that does go for quite a bit is uh, the original Fire Emblem. I guess it's sort of like a remake of the first game. I want to say. Um, yeah, pretty good. Classic Fire Emblem. When you lose a character, he's gone forever. There's no easy mode or anything here. So, but I think this is one of the more valuable Game Boy Advance games. Uh, Masters of the Universe, I picked this up out of curiosity, I think it's got like a weird isometric view on it, and I, I don't think it's really any good. Mm, did I show off both of my... I'm looking for Metroid Fusion, I don't see it at the moment. Oh, maybe it's stuck. I didn't get all the games out of here yet, so... I think it's in here somewhere. <laughs> uh, Breath of Fire. The original Breath of Fire. Basically the Super Nintendo port from what I know. Yeah, I think it's just based on the original Breath of Fire. It's not like a... Not Breath of Fire Advance or anything. Just plain old Breath of Fire. Oh, Dynasty Warriors Advance. This game's great. It's more of a, like a tactical... Sort of top-down action game. Um, you get to pick different clans and stuff. This game is very underrated. I don't think many people talk about this game, but it's great. Sonic Advance and Sonic Pinball Party. Um, yeah, you get the original Sonic Advance games and then two games in one. Sonic Pinball Party, not bad. 
So oh, here we go. Uh, Puzzle Fighter 2. You gotta put two at the end. Was there an original Puzzle Fighter? You gotta call this one Puzzle Fighter 2. Made by Capcom. It's basically Puyo Puyo. With fighting animations in it. <laughs> um, okay, I'll save these for last. And the Mario games. Let's see what else I got in here. I got There's TMNT. I recently live streamed that game. That game was a lot of fun. It was pretty good. Super Bust a Move. I'm sure you guys know what that is. Here it is. Metroid Fusion. <laughs> I was getting worried there. Like, how, about, how come I don't see that game here? I love Metroid Fusion. This is my favorite Metroid game of all time. Sort of more like a survival horror type of game. Type of Metroid game. I think it's awesome. I still think it's the best one. And one that's also really, really good. I live streamed this a long ass to fucking time ago. Metroid Zero Mission. This game was a lot of fun too. And I think I beat it for the first time then as well. Really good. It's Metroid, but it's got a fucking map system to it. It's great. Um, Spyro. Spyro the Dragon Season of Ice. I don't have the other one, which is Season of Flame, which I think might be slightly better. But yeah, Isometric Spyro. Ugh. They're not highly regarded as great Spyro games. Uh, here's. All right, there's my. Pull out a couple more here. And I think that's all of them. I've had this binder since I was a kid, the sports card album. And I'm writing all this stuff on it, like Go Jays Go. And <laughs> I used to keep my baseball cards in here when I was a kid. Alright, so, almost done. Final Fantasy Tactics, boom. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Pretty cool tactics game. It's got like this judge system where they they put stipulations on all your battles. Like you're not allowed to do these types of attacks or blah, blah, blah. It's pretty cool. I think I like the DS version better, but um, God, it's been a long time since I played Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. And here are the... Donkey Kong Country games. I got all three. I made sure to collect them all. I picked up like Donkey Kong 2 or I can't remember which one it was. But I got all these like fairly recently. There's the original Donkey Kong Country. These are great. Super Nintendo ports. There's three. And there's Donkey Kong Country 2. Pretty cool. I have all three of them. Huge fan of the Donkey Kong Country series. Uh, and here are the Mario games. The first one, I think this one came out at launch. Super Mario, Super Mario Advance, is that what it's called? Yeah, just Super Mario Advance. And it is a port of Super Mario Brothers 2. With extra shit added, sound effects, graphics, collectible coins and shit. Um, what was the next one that came out? Oh yes, I believe Super Mario World came out after that. They called this one, so yeah, Super Mario Advance 2. The label's in rough shape. But here's uh, Super Mario World. Then the third one, they jumped over to Super Mario Advance 3. Just funny, this is Super Mario World 2, but it's Super Mario Advance 3. And he just called it Yoshi's Islands. And then, these titles get a little confusing. Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Brothers 3. Why didn't, they should have just, they could have shared the 3 in the title and put this one out before Yoshi's Island maybe or something, I don't know. Here's 
Super, this one, this is really awesome. Super Mario Advance 3. Super Mario World 3, Super Mario Advance 4. Um, I think also with this game, they brought out e-reader cards. We can play like brand new levels in the, in the world of Super Mario Brothers 3. And I know you can get them through like emulation and stuff, but um, yeah, I never had one of those e-readers. I remember reading about them in Nintendo Power and shit, and they sounded pretty cool, but I never did get one. And that is it. That is my whole Game Boy Advance collection so far. I'm still looking out for games here and there, or experimenting on some of them. Usually when I go to the game store, I do check out the Game Boy Advance games, and I don't know, I'm pretty happy with my collection. I think I got a lot of the stuff that I need. I'm still hanging on to my favorite games from when I, like, first got it. Like, this is one of the oldest, this is some of the oldest stuff that I own that I actually had when I was, like, oh, a teenager or whatever. Like, I've always hung on to my Metroid Fusion and shit. But yeah, I've just been slowly picking away at games here and there. I'll keep, uh, I'll keep on collecting. So anyways, I had to do something with these, either put them back in this fucking thing again, or better off just, I don't know, I need something to store these games in, if you have any suggestions, let me know. But I'll, uh, I'll leave it at that, this video didn't go as long as I thought it would, but that's okay, 20 minutes, perfect. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for today, and maybe I'll come back with another collection video sometime in the future. So anyway, you guys all have an Amico day.